Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about self-directed IRAs. <clears throat> I speak about this every once in a while, but was at a uh, note and mortgage meeting yesterday with some investors. Uh, Bright Path Notes was the sponsor. They're a great group if you're interested in notes and mortgages. Um, hook up with them, Bright Path Notes. Uh, Justin Bogart is the principal there, and he can help you. But um, a lot of guys were talking about using their IRAs and ladies uh, in the room to invest in those notes and mortgages, and there was a discussion about what's permitted and what's not permitted. So quick uh, overview, basically a self-directed IRA means that you take your traditional IRA or a SEP IRA or a 401k, roll it into <clears throat> a new IRA, managed by all the same rules but with a custodian that allows you to direct all your investments and invest in things that would be considered alternatives uh, with other brokers and not permit it because say you're with a big brokerage house and I'm not criticizing any of them but just any name brand bro brokerage house and you said you wanted to buy commercial real estate with it well the only thing they could do is buy commercial real estate in a publicly traded REIT or uh, something like that. They couldn't invest directly in a strip mall down the street. Likewise, they couldn't invest in uh, a single family home in an area or a rehab or a flip or something like that that you wanted to do. It would have to be a publicly traded fund or a mutual fund, something like that. So with a self-directed IRA or self-directed SEP, uh, self-employed person, or a 401k, you can direct all those investments on your own. And a lot of people are always asking, can I do this, can I do that? So I thought I'd give you a list of do's and don'ts. And the do's are very broad, and the don'ts, there's only two. So hang on to the end, you'll hear the do not invest in these things with your self-directed IRA. But the tax code allows all these different investments. I'm just gonna read them up to you, right? So rental real estate. So it could be a single family home, could be commercial, whatever could be just any kind of commercial property, a hotel, office building, anything like that. Um, bear land, you can always invest in bear land. That's a great investment. We have clients that do that all the time. Farms and ranches, if you wanna buy a farm <clears throat> or a big ranch in, in another state or one here in Indiana, you can do that in your self-directed IRA. You can flip properties, you can do rehabbing of properties, uh, you can buy tax liens with your IRA, you can do land contracts. <clears throat> Those are sometimes called uh, trust deeds, but land contracts in Indiana is the word we use. You can make loans like a hard money loan or be a private lender. You can be a bank um, to other parties so you can loan money out. You can invest in private placements. This is the one that came up yesterday. A private placement is where you go into a business venture with somebody else um, and they have what they call a private placement or a Reg D offering. You have to be a accredited investor to do it, but that's true for all investors. So you are allowed to use your IRA to invest in uh, private placements into private companies, say, that are going public or private small businesses that are accumulating a, a lot of capital to open up maybe a restaurant or some other business, right? But that's what it's... A, uh, private placements all about. You can also make offshore investments. You can invest in precious metals like gold and silver, right? Intellectual property, right? So if you've got somebody that's got a patent on an idea or a new product they want, you can invest in the intellectual property. Um, accounts receivable. You could be somebody that factors uh, financing for somebody and uh, finance their accounts receivable. You can invest in heavy equipment. You can invest in livestock right, machinery, that kind of a thing, cattle, horses, whatever. So it's very broad. Uh, storage containers, that's another kind of a odd, uh, an odd one. But almost anything you can imagine, you can invest in through your self-directed IRA. Here's the last two. Do not invest in life insurance. <laughs> Can't do that. That's prohibited by the code. Also, do not invest in collectible items, right? Anything that's a collectible, like the baseball cards, yeah, don't do that. Anything that's collectible, fine art, that kind of a thing, don't use that in your IRA. So stay with the first list I gave you. Uh, of course, most of our clients are in notes, mortgages, real estate, rehabbing, flipping, that kind of a thing. 
that's in land. Those are all standard, very typical. Also, uh, private placements. We see a fair number of clients going into a private placement with their IRA. So give us a call if you'd like to learn more about how to do that, or if you have a question about a project. There are definitely things that you are not allowed to do, uh, prohibited transactions with relatives and that kind of thing, or transactions with your own property. Those are strictly prohibited. So I wanted to give you the yes and the no on the type of product, but then who you're doing it with is also important. So we'll cover that in another uh, quick video sometime. That's it for today. Hope you're having a good one. Call us if you need us. Thank you.